Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Now I'm gonna start exploring the left side more thoroughly here because we did the entirety of the right side. We've seen the middle area and thus left side. That's the only thing that's left. <laughs> so let's just take a peek see around at the rocky formations. And hey, who are these two guys? <laughs> How's it going there? What's up? Ah, oh, I see. So, well, okay, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't, what? <laughs> I don't think they know. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's a secret research project and they just don't want to tell us. And, well, until it's done, because he said, please come back later. <laughs> well, all right, so that is another challenge, but, well, that's not a challenge that we can do because... Well, they're in the way for one thing, and we're not going to do more than uh, three challenges anyway, so yes, let's just take a peek see over on this side and instead do a different challenge. And just take a peek see through here. Eh, mm, 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 it's quiet. Too quiet. Suspiciously quiet. Anyway, <laughs> wait, did I show you what's up or. Yeah, there's not really much to show there, is it? <laughs> Maybe I, I did, and it was just so unmemorable because there was so little to see. Alright, here we go. Challenge number three of three! Because I'm not doing that fourth one. <laughs> wind? How could there be wind underground? Is there like a Pokemon flapping its wings or something? Alright. Oh, I see. At times oppose them, at times accept them, and your paths you shall find! If that's how I translate there. Well, who's reading off that? <laughs> so yes, there is something at the end that we have got to calm, but mainly there's wind. And of course, there is no way to save your game during the challenge. That is the challenge. Anyway, <laughs> this is probably the easiest of all the challenges, so I'm going to take a little tour of this first here, of the punishment area, if you should fall off into the Great Abyss, that's not really much of an abyss. So here we go. See the wind? It's it's slightly pushing me just a little bit, so you just kind of kind of resist that as you go. Uh, it's not really all that difficult, as I said before, it's just a matter of getting the feel for the wind and having good stylus controls, you know, just through practice and whatnot. So this shouldn't cause you all that much ire, I think. And don't take the thinnest routes, because as you've seen, there are some one square of wide areas that you probably don't want to deal with. And there we go. <laughs> See what I mean about it being the easiest? So like uh, the Gyarados one, uh, you'll probably have a little bit of difficult getting the hang of dodging those water balls. And uh, where's the attack? There's the attack. <laughs> it's Flygon! Woo! Bring it on! There's nothing that you can do that'll stop me. Oh, jeez, you're fast! <laughs> oh! 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 Well, I could actually do that between the tornadoes, come to think of it. Stop in the middle, please. Ooh, ah! Just stop for a good amount of time, please. Ah! Mm. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? I don't know, but whatever. Whatever. Ah, I got it! Yeah! <laughs> Gotta be turbo speed circling. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh no, not faster than the eye can follow, but faster than the stylus can follow. <laughs> yeah! Challenge complete. What stinks about Flygon is that when it flies off on the other side of the screen, and then it just kind of ruins your whole thing. And you don't know when it's going to fly off either, you just gotta kind of hope it stays around just long enough for you to be able to pull off a victory on it. And most of the time, you've got to keep circling on it when you see it beginning to attack. So it's like, oh man, you got to finish that circling spree before you get attacked, otherwise you're going to lose out on both energy as well as the capture. There we go. <laughs> Eh, uh, uh, yeah, I suppose. It wouldn't hurt, I guess. So, let's just flutter back down to that other area where those researchers were, and maybe they'll be gone, and we'll be able to check it out now. Yeah, they seem to be. Alright. So, what is the final challenge like, anyway? We'll be able to see, just as long as we don't complete. Eh, uh, what? 
Maybe it just got eroded over time or something like that. Why did he say someone wrecked it? Hmm. Maybe it was vandalized in ancient times or something like that. Yeah, yeah that could be. Hmm. Alright, I'll give it a try. This one I have to actually read because he, he can't read it. So it's just like. No save. <laughs> they always gotta add in the no save thing, of course. And you can definitely tell what that says just by what your what your last encounters are like. Here is the last punishment area. And let's take a peek see as to what the last challenge is like. So, we got some craters with some glow of stuff. Looks like a fiery area thanks to the fire symbol. Ooh, lava. So pretty. So fiery. So gooey. Yeah, I'm gonna just head on around here to show you the whole triangular area, I guess. And then I'll show you the upper area, I suppose. Because it's not like we can solve this challenge anyway with there not being nothing being there and pretty much being destroyed. Ah! <laughs> They're here! How did you know we were gonna be here? <laughs> and what did you do with those two researchers? And, and, Devil and Delta Georgia! Yeah, rock out, baby! Oh, yeah! Donkey Konga! Donkey Konga! Two! <laughs> That's actually more like. Four at this time or something like that. I don't know how many times we, we've seen Kanga guy by now. <laughs> and I should probably let them do the little confetti and fanfare. There we go. That'll make them feel extra good about themselves for being villainous baddies. <laughs> Just throw them a bone every so often, I guess. What? I couldn't tell. Um, well, now I can tell. Poor Charizard doesn't look too happy that it's all flashy and breathing fire up to the sky and... Uh... Yup. You've never met them before? Uh, I guess that's because I kept getting the tasks that met up with these guys. What the... Uh-oh. Yeah, we should probably do something about that Charizard because he kind of probably did something with their super stylers of genericness. Yeah, let's see what you have to say about that. Or did you do something? Oh, what? Really? Hmm. Ah, uh, something tells me that's a little hard to believe, but, well, at the very least, I definitely gotta do something about that Charizard. And finally, finally, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I will. So when you approach a Charizard, it'll fly off to another one of those fire locations, and if you get hit by one of those flaming towers, you'll probably be knocked off the edge. And then you see it land thusly, and then when you get up to it, it's gonna fly, or not, but you gotta be up to it fast enough, basically, in order for it to not fly away. So that's why I was kind of running through the fire as quick as possible, but I also kind of, kind of wanted to show it fly away again, but eh, well, oops! Oopsie, oopsie, um, I forgot about that. <laughs> Well, I can't do anything while you're next to the edge of the screen there, my fiery buddy. Uh, can you move, like, towards this one right here? That would be perfect. And also, will I have to discharge you? That is the question. Because how many... Okay, it takes 11. Um, I might have to discharge. Well, I shouldn't say that. Everyone's possible to do without a discharge. Uh, can I get this without... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's go for the discharge, because it's near those fireballs. Uh, yeah, that looks like a good position. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, got it. There we go. Woo! Yeah, that would've been a lot trickier if I didn't have the discharge, because I would've had the hope that it would stay around one of the balls of fire on the ground. But there we go! Charizard is saved from its own rage, I guess. I don't know what the heck happened to it. Do you? Do you? Well, whatever. <laughs> There we go. But, you know, we gotta release the Charizard regardless. And... Styler recovered. Even though we kind of leveled up in the wood. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Oh, there we go. Well, I did it. Thank you, thank you. 
Ah, so you did tick it off, you stinkers. Oh. Was it an accident? Was it? Uh-huh. What? 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 Um... Should I be worried about this? Because I'm a little worried! Uh... Oh, jeez! Well... Hopefully they're lying! <laughs> I have... Yes, I heard about that. And hopefully that just happens to be a legend. Uh... Huh? Um... Oh, you... Stinkers. You. So that's what they were doing. The researchers are blocking it all so that they could capture it and or prepare for the future. What? Anti-statue. I mean, anti-statue. Huh? Huh? What? Mm. Ah, I hope no calamity does happen. But first, but before we go to that statue, let's take a peek -see up over at the usual challenge room just to see if they're actually telling the truth, which they probably aren't, and see if the statue- ah, It's gone! It's gone! We did somehow clear the fourth challenge. Or did they clear the fourth challenge? Who knows? Well, maybe they didn't. They didn't seem that skillful. But anyway, <laughs> let's go back outside and check out the Entei <coughs> statue, I guess. Um, yeah. Maybe there's something that's different outside. Maybe. Eh, looks fine to me. Everything looks exactly the same. No calamity, no destruction of the world. And... Uh, there's the fourth one, I guess. It was cleared, huh? But, well... Yeah. Uh, eh. so, yeah, it seems okay to me. Maybe they just want to discourage people from ever completing the challenges because they didn't believe that people could complete all four challenges, or... Oh. Okay. Hmm. Weird. I... I don't think that could be. Huh. Eh. Stinkers. <laughs> Alright. Yep, looks like we're done. Let's head on back. Woo! And... 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 We're out! Uh, uh... It's a... Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. yeah, I guess we probably should. Ah! Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's an earthquake! It's your emergency seems to be sitting in a jungle relic! Knowing the both of you, I'm sure you're okay. You're okay, aren't you? <laughs> I want the both of you to survey the damage and investigate the cause. We'll be careful of the aftershocks, okay? All cities are up. Jews in Summerland should be headed your way too. It's like the garden you do to think safety first. Is this still shaking? <laughs> and. Uh, not quite. Nope, nope, not ready to. Oh! Oh no! The lava's. I mean, the water's been replaced by lava. Um. Yeah, that's not good, but I guess as long as the lava stays underground, we'll be okay. Uh, hi, Aria. Uh-huh. Yup, yup. I heard about that. Uh, oh boy. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess we kind of did. Yeah, there's a long story behind that one. I was over there. Oh, no way! Can it be the actual Ente? No, we must be hallucinating. Yeah, everyone's just hallucinating. Well, yeah, let's just uh, what? Let's, but we kind of well, no, uh, 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 you wouldn't understand, would you? <laughs> You're just, you're just not the kind of one to listen to any sort of reason. Oh, alright. Alright. Uh, yeah, we probably should. Yeah. But first, let's start out with capturing a Nummel. 
because it's just right here and it'll fill out our browser a little bit. Oh, don't you don't no 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 I want just just five circles. Just five circles. <laughs> and there we go. Victory. But anyway, about fixing this place up or seeing what the heck going is going on. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to leave this until the next part. I'm hot and sweaty from all this lava, so I gotta get some sort of pocket fan or, or cooling ice pack or something. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I check this place out in its newer form.